In this video, we will walk you through the different stages of the application process, highlighting states updates, and approval flows. When we create an application, the first stage of the pipeline is the draft stage. You can verify and update your application details before proceeding to the next stage. Once the application is ready, submit it for quality check. Upon clicking on quality check, a confirmation pop-up appears that confirms if your application details are fully updated and you are ready to submit application. Once submitted, a task is generated for the QC team. The QC team checks the application against entry requirements and university eligibility criteria. If they reject it, the stage color turns red. You can find the rejection reason in the comments. And after the necessary modifications, resubmit your application for QC check. If everything is correct, they approve it, and the stage color turns green. You can also check the task status in the Requests field in the Details tab or the Task Details in the Related tab. After QC approval, the application proceeds to the processing stage. If the university finds the application eligible, a conditional offer letter is issued. Once all conditions are met, the application receives an unconditional offer letter. After the applicant makes the required deposit, the application moves to the deposited stage. At this point, the application is locked and cannot move backward. Next, the application goes through compliance check. For BPP University, a CAS form will appear. You'll have to fill out all the necessary details in this form and submit for QC approval. For other universities, a pop-up declaration appears with the message, you are about to submit this application for compliance. Ensure all documents and information provided are correct. Once the application is submitted for compliance check, the QC team verifies documents and checks for any fraudulent submissions. If approved, you can proceed forward with your application. If rejected, refer to the attached comments, and after the necessary modifications, resubmit your application for a compliance check. Once compliance is approved, the application reaches the CAS approved stage, and it cannot move back. The next stage, CAS received, confirms the issuance of a CAS number. Again, the application cannot go back from this stage. Visa applied, confirming the submission of the visa application. At this stage, the application is permanently locked and cannot be moved backward. The updated pipeline includes multiple checkpoints to ensure quality and compliance. Each stage is designed to enhance efficiency and transparency. If you have any questions, please reach out to the support team. Thank you for watching.